so the question is, um, indigenous sovereignty. So tribes are sovereign, and this seems to be a difficult concept for Americans to understand. So I was wondering if you might explain that. Um, well, I think that there is a uh, history lesson uh, that uh, these people are missing on. Uh, there are indigenous nations in this country. There are indigenous people, of course, all over the world. But in this country, indigenous people possessed the North American continent when colonizers came from England and France and everywhere, they signed treaties with the tribal nations when they wanted land. So some land was exchanged that way. There was a lot more land that was just stolen. But there are treaty lands here, and there are trees that these indigenous tribes signed with the federal government. That means they're sovereign people. They were sovereign before these invaders came. They are sovereign today because treaties are, after all, the law of the land. We're told that all the time in history. Treaties are the law of the land. And the U.S. has signed treaties with certain tribes. The Sioux Nation has signed treaties in order for South Dakota to become a state. The state has no relationship to this treaty agreement. And that's where the failure of education, the failure of the law, the failure of people to understand happens. The state of South Dakota became a state in 1889. The Sioux Nation had signed a treaty, uh, many treaties, early on in 1800s, early, even earlier than that. So, sovereignty for indigenous people is a reality in history. It's a reality in law. And it's too bad that America's uh, understanding of that has not only been politicized, but it has been ignored. 